is what I want, guys. Can you see my veggies? Can you see my veggie table? people thank you for stopping by my channel today so if today is your first time of stopping by today you are highly welcome please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the notification bell whenever i upload a video you will be notified okay so let's begin the video so today i'll be cooking spinach vegetables and i'm cooking this my vegetable with only spinach frozen spinach precisely okay guys so this particular one the way i make my make my differently if you try this method you will try that method again okay guys so let's begin with the video so we'll be needing some goat's meat as you can see here here is my goat's meat properly washed as you can see i've washed it so we have our fish here i've washed the fish i'm going to fry this fish then i have my frozen frozen spinach that's the start of the dish. I have my onions that are properly and well diced. And I have my maggi and my sauce. I have my red oil, of course. I have my red pepper. I have crayfish. And I have iru. It's called locust bean. So, um, locust bean slice. I'm going to put this into the hot water and wash it. So, guys, I'm going to show the details as I begin, okay? Let's begin. So into my pot, I will be adding in some, some maggi cubes. Then I will also be adding in some salt. And it's done. Then I will be adding in my onion. I will be adding in my onion. Then I'll be putting in some water. For this, we don't need much water. We just need a little water for this recipe. So I'm not using much water. Okay. So we are going to allow it to. So as this is as our meat is cooking, I will I will I will be slicing my my vegetable. Okay, and frying my fish as well. So into my pot, my fry pan, I just added in my my vegetable oil. This is the oil I've used to fry my meat already. This is one I'm going to use. So I'll be adding in my fish now. So I just added in my fish, as you can see. So I'm going to fry the fish. It is dry, okay. So let's check on our meat and see how it's doing. Ooh. Our meat, I think, is almost done. Okay, we are going to wait a bit so that the water should dry up a little bit. Then we add the remaining ingredients. So I'm going to cover and we continue from there. Okay, guys, so here is our fish, it's, it's not properly dry. So let's take a look at our meat and see. Whoop, whoop. So as we wait for our fish, we continue with our vegetable. So in here, I will be adding in some chili pepper. So you can see. And I'll also be adding in my local bean. Which is also known as iru, and I'll be adding in some crayfish as well, and I'm going to give it a proper stir together. I'm going to stir everything together, okay? And I will add in my red oil as well. So I'll put in my red oil. Don't need too much of it, but we need oil. Okay. So I'll allow it to cook together as we wait for our fish to get ready. So I'm going to cover it and we'll be right back. 
So as we, we are still waiting for our meat to boil for some few minutes, I'm going to come in here by stirring my fish and checking my fish as well. Because I'll be adding in the fish directly into the soup. Okay. We need the fish to be in the soup. But we don't need I don't need the fish too dry, okay? I don't need that dry, too much dryness of fish. So I'll be adding in I'll be taking out the fish now and I'll be placing it directly into the pot. I'll be taking out the fish from the oil, you can see. I don't want to squeeze so you guys want to put this plate here. So I'm taking out the fish. Okay. I'm placing it directly into the pot. Okay. So this is what I want. Yeah, coming of the oil, and let's see how it looks like. So, do you see <laughs> this? My vegetable method. If you haven't tried it out, just go and try it as you are finishing this video. As in, hmm, it's super yummy, yummy. So, let's go back for some few seconds, then we'll be right back. So our fish and everything has been boiling for some few minutes with the meat. So we are going to check and see how it looks like. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we are going to add in the side of the dish, which is the spinach, into the dish. <laughs> if you haven't tried this, my method, go and try it. It will taste exactly like a big corn. <laughs> Hey, it will take exactly like a decaye corn. So I'm going to give it a proper stir. I will stir it together. Ooh, ooh, la, 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 la. <laughs> this is richness, has in vitamins. Now, if you haven't tried this method, please take a look and try it out, okay? It's so rich. So I'm going to cover for some few minutes because I want to maintain the greenness of the vegetables okay so I'm going to cover it for some few minutes and I'll be right back okay so our vegetable has been boiling for some like five minutes so let me check and see the can you see that so finally I'll be adding in two cubes of a uh, my maggi you can taste to know how you need if you need just one or a little bit and i'm still going to add some a pinch of salt because i already added it added maggi and salt to my to my meat when i was boiling it so i'm going to give it a proper stir hmm. to mix together okay good can you see that can you see it? <laughs> All the fish have size and they have turned to stuck fish inside. <laughs> and this is what I want. This is what I want, guys. Can you see my veggies? Can you see my veggie table? So, this is the end product of it, but I'm still going to wait for like two three minutes so that the maggi and salt can penetrate deeply inside the vegetable and our soup is ready to be served as you can see from the look of it if you haven't tried this method please try it out let me taste for salt <laughs> if you taste this this is ooh la la it's super delicious guys so if you like this video thumbs up for me oh if you haven't liked this video like it now like it now i know try like it for me okay guys i will cover it for two minutes and our soup is ready so our vegetable has boiling for two minutes now so i'm going to check now As you can see, it's ready. Okay, guys. 
thank you for watching thank you so so much for stopping by thank you for watching my videos thank you for coming by i really appreciate you okay so this is the end product of our vegetable soup please subscribe to my channel thank you for coming and this is the final look of our vegetables this is the final look okay thank you <laughs> If you taste this my system as if you haven't tried it out please try it out and you will see the difference the difference is clear yeah the difference is clear okay thanks for watching and bye <laughs>